Welcome back, we're the Bourbon Jugs. He's Dan, I'm Sean, and tonight, we uh, we go through some whiskey we accessories. Talk about how far along I am. No, we do not. Whiskey accessories, Dan. Yep, Sean hasn't seen some of these, so this should actually be a lot of fun. I've not used almost any of them. Dylan Box. So it'll be fun. One of the biggest things in whiskey and cigars, both. Yep. Accessories. Yes. Everybody loves an accessory, myself included. Glasses. Glasses. Rocks. A million glasses. Oh, a trillion. Oh, uh, literally every so glass. Every glass shape. All, every glass color. All I want sizes. is all I want is 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 new experience. And if that new experience has to just be a different drinking mechanism, then so be it. So you know what? Because of that, we'll start with the glass that Sean and I have definitely never used. Hit me with it. The Irish, I believe this is called an Irish whiskey tasting glass. This is from Angel Share. It's an Angel's Share glass. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna put whiskey in her. I'm not we're gonna, doing that. Yeah, we are. Yes, we are. Do you gotta suck it in or? I'm not, we, you and I are gonna learn this together. Whether you gotta suck, whether you gotta, I, that's the No, thing. we're done. It, roll okay. it. I'm just waiting for the cork to break. <laughs> no, it's an old Forster cork now. Oh, whoa, easy. Okay. It does smell incredible. I bet Winnie the Pooh. It's a nice uh, honey jar you got there. I'm gonna do this first because Sean's realistically sick right now and I don't want Sean's <clears throat> dumb germs. Go ahead. That, hold on, I want to try one more thing. Oh, I wasn't expecting. That's a different experience. You just like forced whiskey into your mouth. Mm-hmm, uh, okay. I'm not sick. Not yet. Okay, now real quick, suck on it. it. Suck oh, it once. Nope. Do it. You <laughs> got good. it. No, it's kind of cool. Just, I want you to have the experience, because I've never drank whiskey through a straw before, so it's very different than normal. Isn't that weird? <laughs> Doesn't it feel weird? Yeah, like, oh, I don't it's like so, that. so weird. Is this worth 40 bucks? No. No, but it's going to be fun to pour, like, the first time somebody comes to the hut from now on, this is their glass. You know it what I'm saying? It will never be clean, and you're going to break it. Next, the most famous whiskey accessory of all freaking time. Stones? Without a doubt. Okay. Everybody that's ever received a gift. Yep. You've gotten whiskey stones. If you're the whiskey guy in the family, you've gotten whiskey stones. Yeah. Now these are Amazon's, you know how Amazon has choices or preferred uh, or yep. Amazon selects. These are the Amazon stones. Everybody in whiskey knows this, but in theory, you put like three stones in a glass oh, three? and then you put like whiskey in a glass. Okay. Yep. And then it doesn't water your whiskey down, but it makes it cold. Uh -huh. The problem is nobody drinks that much whiskey. People drink like maybe that much whiskey. No, but they never get cold, so they have to use every stone in a whole box. Okay. I have a different style at home. Okay. Which I forgot we're shooting this. We're gonna bring them. Okay. Uh, it's a stainless st steel, mm, like big cube yep. with a, a gel in there. So is it a big, like a how big is the yeah, cube? it's a big one. So the whole point of these is that, hey, I don't want the ice to melt and then my whiskey's just full of water. Yep. But I do want my ice to be, or my whiskey no, to be cold to be because chill. it's hot yeah. as hell in summer or whatever. So on, like legitimately, if you use stones, using like six of them at a time to make something cool down isn't even abnormal. Yeah. At that point, I just put white ice in it, swirl it and chug it. Cause that's a better move. You can just pre-chill your glass. And right. It does about the same thing. Yeah, throw it in the freezer. Before we move on, let's take a quick moment to thank today's sponsor of the video. Yep. All right, the sponsor of today's video. Bet you can't tell. Bet you can't tell. Bet you can't tell that there's a skull in the room. Skull with. But you can, cause it's a conversation starter. So while wow, we're here today to talk to you about some badass home decor. Here's what you need to know. They take these ethically sourced animal skulls decorate them up, paint them, carve them, make them look awesome. Ridiculously big. Comes with a nice mounting plaque. We got it over here just so you guys can see it. The cool thing is, is you can actually buy table mounts for them. You can buy wall mounts. You can actually buy one that yeah, has like a light that goes behind it. So it emits light out of people. it. Children. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Mostly. So realistically, um, and they do sales all the time. So if you want to go check out their site. Yeah, big sales. You can go see if they're doing a sale right now, but they range anywhere 200 bucks. We just 1500 looked at some, bucks. I can say we saw some that were 500 off. Yeah, yeah. So. Use the link below to get there. Yeah. Helps us out, helps them track how you guys got there, which is great. Scobus, thank you as always for working with the channel. Seriously, they're like some of the coolest. You can get bigger ones, you can get smaller ones. There's rams and cows and bulls and longhorns. Oh, they got that Texas longhorn one. The, the, the longhorns, so cool. while more expensive, 
one of the most badass pieces. I wish we had room for it. Oh my it would gosh. Look, um, it spans, it like wider. Should like they're again. ridiculous, they're so cool. But definitely thank you, check them out. Thanks as always, always yeah. for working with the channel. Support the people, support us. Back to the video. Cheers, everybody. Ready? All right, next whiskey accessory. We talked about glasses. Yeah. One of the things that a lot of whiskey people like to do is travel and go to meetups, bottle shares, whatever you want to call them. Yeah. A lot of people like to camp. True. You know what sucks to carry around is glass, glass. because it breaks really easy. It's come to stand. Come to find out if you drop it, it literally implodes. It's under a lot of stress or some shit. <laughs> I was like, why are you hitting the box? So, needless to say, there's a company called, I think, a Duradram or something. We paid for these. They're yeah, not, Duradram. They're not sent by them. I bought these as a as a test. They're silicone glass. Oh, this one's got hair in it. Okay. It's cookie hair. That's 100% cookie hair. Why do we care about that? We're because talking about. I'm gonna tell you the negative of these. Okay. Because they're okay. rubber, yep. silicone, everything gets stuck to them. That's true. Yeah, they, they have a, a, a lot of static. It's, so when you put them in something to take that, to travel with them, yeah. the whole point is like, hey, I can go anywhere, oh my gosh, and then I'm fine. Every time you go somewhere, you get lint, fuzz. If you own pets, it's just gonna be a furry glove. It's just, dress. I just want to show you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you what they say you can do with these. Drink the whiskey. So you put whiskey in it. Yep. And then you, oh, yo, yo, I like to nose my whiskey, right? Yep. Oh, I don't feel like I nosed it well enough. No, I won't you. spray it on you, I no, promise. No thanks, do it to yourself. <laughs> do it to You're yourself. untrusting and I don't deserve that. Know that, okay? So their, their patented benefit okay. is that when you're like, oh, I don't smell like anything, you go, and you just squeeze it and it, they call it forced aeration. So you can take that how you please. I don't know that these personally for me are the best nosing glass. Oh, I can really get it up there. Oh, there you go. Wait. No, it's you not try better. Again? It's try not... again. Okay. No. <laughs> go. I almost did it. I almost <laughs> did it. All right. Next one. Next whiskey accessory. We have two more. Sean and I have shot videos on things like these. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put one of these in a bottle today. We're not gonna know what it tastes like today, but okay. So this is a barrel aging in a bottle. So basically it's just uh, charred oak. Oak and infusion like, spiral. Yeah, so you just drop that into a bottle. So if you had something that was, you know, not very, but I like that. It's supposed to add age to your whiskey. Do you want to smell this before I put it in there? Doesn't smell great. It smells plain. Yeah. Now, oak. Um, but what you can do is basically fake age. So you get an extra like, what? You're not actually aging the whiskey. Oh, I know, but I love that you put the really harsh like fuck your aging system do you know how long you do that <laughs> no i agree with you that's the best part okay so you're putting like the, the rapid fake, aging yeah, some would say fake aging on a bottle of whiskey if there was an infomercial for <laughs> rapid aging these would be a part of it if we're being honest you're just... trying to recreate uh the the whiskey interacting with oak in a barrel um, we, we've had varying success with different ones that were not charred like this. This looks like a cat turd. Okay. These are also Amazon's preferred choice, by okay. the way. Okay. So this is a, an American oak char number three. It kind of looks that way. Here's what I'm going to say about these really fast. Yep. Because we, Sean and I have done, actually worked with a company. Yes. That, that does different staves that it, you use for aging. I know that, so these are the ones off Amazon. They're not very expensive. They're yeah. barrel aged in a bottle. What I would say is, before I went this route, yeah. I would go the route with the people we worked with. Fair. Barrel charm. You're, you're not gonna drop one of these in your Weller Special Reserve and get Pappy 23. Right. So like, um, it does change it a little bit. Well, we've never shot videos before, so. The reason I say I would go with like barrel char, the people. Yeah. Do you actually have choices? Yes. Right, these are, these are it's a oak char number three, That's it That's is what, what it get. is. The, the barrel char stuff, we've had some really interesting experiences with, and yep. a couple of them we really, really liked a lot. Couple of them we really screwed Finish, up. Yeah, Finish Wee Beastie turned out. Finish Wee Beastie was actually incredible, honestly. This is basically uh, I wouldn't an, put an it easier method than um, using one of the small barrels. That and those don't yep. turn out often either. So. Not really, so I would just kind of pass on that one. Let's get that out of there. What I will say is, <clears throat> that was a great, oh my gosh. You don't know where, it's stuck between the bomb burgers and the shelf on the left. I, if you want to mess around with whiskey, they're fun. Go to somebody who actually like chars different woods and does different things. You get way different experiences yes. out of them. Next one. Last one. Oh. Unopened box. <laughs> I'm so excited for this. Sean and I have never owned one of these. 
pumps before. Yeah, you have. I uh, definitely don't know how to use the, the <laughs> pumps, if you know what I'm saying. I just assume I know what I'm doing. Back to the rapid aging. Contextually, what we're talking about again is rapid aging. 50-50 here. This is supposed to, this is supposed to allow you to age whiskey immediately, literally. So. Should I read the instructions? Nope. I think we try it first and then we read the instructions see if we were right. You flip her over and you start pumping. I think so. Okay, hold on. Let's do this first. So we got normal ancient age 10. Right. And then pump it. It's real foamy, a lot of aeration. Actually, it's not that cloudy now that you're done. Yeah. It's a little cloudy. There's a lot of air in it. So any I mean, it's definitely a little darker. It's definitely darker. So supposedly how this works for everybody watching is these are little chunks of wood. And what it's supposed to do is push the whiskey through this wood so hard that it, it, it it's um, pretending that you're pulling the sugars out of the inside of the wood like it would inside a barrel. When the, when the whiskey in a barrel goes into the barrel and then out of the barrel, it's extracting the sugars. These are the, so you're, you're force, you're forcing the whiskey in and out of the barrel with a pump. You should try that one. You try that one. It's real good. Ancient age used to be 10 years old. Now it's 10 stars old. They got you good with that marketing. Um, it's definitely actually, darker. It though. actually looks nice. Like, okay. So this is the normal ancient age, which hopefully this comes out in the mm, video. Who knows? This is the pumped. Anyway, this smells great. Taste it. It smells better for real. Mm -hmm. I agree. I think it does smell better. Oh, I don't like the end of that. Oh, the finish is not my mm -mm. shit. It made it so sharp. Mm. Yeah, really harsh wood. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, oh. you know, it definitely did something. I will give you that. Oh my gosh, it gave me chills. It's so harsh at the end. The up front, it actually isn't bad by any means. I don't know that it improved it significantly, but it's not um, that mm. physically. My soul went, hey, stop for one second. We I wouldn't have nightmares about that. But yeah, that's, Wait, uh, that's some, some happy whiskey accessories that we tried, so maybe you don't have to. Or maybe you like what you saw and you're gonna go buy a whiskey pump. You gotta screw with your friends with the Irish whiskey glass. Every time they come over, you just pretend that that's what everybody drinks out of. Like, no, this is what we're into. I wouldn't, this, mm, I like normal ancient age more. We are the bourbon junkies. That's not Like, comment, subscribe. Proofs in the port. Not in the whiskey pump. It, the, the, the disc just don't. Yeah. You can pump it all you want, but she's, in the end, 